Over the next several weeks in our Maine's Changing Climate series, our meteorologists are responding to some common myths about climate change. Meteorologist Ryan Breton gets us started tonight. We start off our list of top climate myths with number five. Sea level rise is exaggerated? Well, living and working in Maine, we see the power of the ocean in every season. But maybe you've seen memes like this one, claiming that Plymouth Rock has been in the same spot since 1620. It hasn't. In just the last 200 years, it's been relocated four times. And sometimes on a bright sunny day, it can be easy to forget how our coastline has evolved over the centuries, even as that change is now picking up speed. There are three main reasons why sea level is going up. Ice sheets and glaciers in the Arctic are melting and that water is flowing into the oceans. On top of that, the ocean as a whole is getting warmer and warmer water expands, taking up more space, adding to the rise. And unrelated to climate change, in some places land is sinking or subsiding a bit over time, meaning the water level is inching up. The data tells a pretty strong story though. Over the last 100 years, the sea level has increased an average of about eight inches in Maine, but the rate of that increase has gone up. Since 2000, the sea level has been rising by nearly two inches per decade. If that rate continues, it would mean additional sea level rise of more than a foot and a half in the next 100 years. It's natural to think of storms when you think of coastal flooding, but anyone who lives or works on the water knows that these days it's pretty common to have minor flooding during high astronomical tide cycles, even without a storm. These king tides show what happens when you add a little bit of a water on top of a higher tide. When a storm happens during one of these king tides, as we saw last winter, it can be devastating. Last January's storm broke the record for highest water level in Portland, surpassing the infamous blizzard of 78. Sea level rise sets the bar for each storm these days a little higher. And if you're starting at a higher bar, it can take a weaker storm during a high astronomical tide to cause what would have required a stronger storm decades ago. So the bottom line is this, what appears to be a small change results in a big difference. Coastal flooding events are becoming more common because the bar has been raised by the rising sea level. So it's tough to say sea level rise is exaggerated when one way or another, we live in a place where we see the impact now multiple times per year. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, News Center, Maine.